this is the University and College Report in 3, 2, 1. This is the University and College Report, brought to you this week by Washington State University Tri-Cities. My name is Kyle Kopta, and I'm speaking today with Associate Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs, Anna Plemons, on an exciting project she prepared for her students this last semester. How are you doing today, Anna? Hi, Kyle. I'm well, and excited to have a chance to chat with you a bit. Absolutely. What does the DTC 476 class entail, and what are the learning outcomes of the course? Yeah, so Digital Technology and Culture, or DTC, as we call it, 476, is a course focused on digital strategies. So what are they? How do we use them? How do we decide which ones are best in particular contexts? The class itself is oriented around two client-facing projects where students have the opportunity to identify which digital strategies best serve the needs of a specific audience, and then practice making those decisions and producing relevant content in a real life context. So by the end of the course, I expected that students would be able to demonstrate competency with a variety of technological mediums, to use design principles and creating content, and to be able to understand and describe the role that a specific cultural context has both on the choices about mediums and platforms, as well as on their designs. And how did you go about adapting this class to a virtual environment? Yeah, that is like, that's the question of, you know, uh, pandemic life, but really actually this was my first time teaching the course. So it was less about adapting the course, but rather really thinking about what kinds of possibilities did the virtual space open for us as a class. So I've heard great things about a project students completed for this class with the Tri-Cities Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Can you tell us about this project? Yes, I love this project. So uh, I'm so grateful to the Tri-Cities Hispanic Chamber of Commerce for working with us. They were such a great partner and our students had a really positive experience. Specifically, the chamber offered students two different kinds of opportunities. So they could students could either work directly with an immigrant business owner to create a digital catalog of high quality photographs that showcased business products or maybe the business location, um, or, or actually students who went this route got the opportunity to then dialogue with the business owner about how they wanted their business showcased. They took the photos, they edited and cataloged them and then handed that back to the business owner for their future use in creating digital marketing materials. So that was option number one. The second option was to create tutorials for establishing a digital presence. So website development, Facebook, Instagram, things like that. Students were asked to presume that their audience of immigrant business owners would be generally unfamiliar with web-based tools and platforms and would be using a mobile device to establish their digital presence. So I think thinking strategically about audience and cultural contexts, you know, that's a learning outcome of the course. And then these particular, this particular opportunity really afforded students to think creatively and expansively about how to do that. So that's, I think, what was really exciting for me as the instructor. Um, one other fun thing to note, once the students had drafts of their materials ready, the class met virtually with Ramiro Pandora from the Hispanic Chamber, and he provided really great, really detailed feedback that students then used to revise their work. And I really can't say enough about Ramiro and his contributions to our class. It just, it was such an amazing opportunity for students to get to do client facing work and particularly to have the chance to hear back from a client and then incorporate that feedback. And how important was it to you to maintain this level of collaborative creative production in a virtual learning format? And what did you think of the finished student products? Yeah, so as we know, you know, the pandemic in general, and I think virtual learning in particular can be really isolating. So collaborative creative production, as you mentioned, I mean, that's a hallmark of the DTC program. And so it was really important to me to find ways to do that virtually and really between Zoom and Canvas and a great community partner, the affordances were all there. So uh, regarding the finished projects, you know, I think they turned out pretty great. One student told me she took the best photo of her career so far. Other students mentioned really expanding their toolkit to do the kind of work uh, that the projects were requiring. And of course, you know, that's exciting to me as an instructor. And probably my favorite outcome, um, three students secured paid internships with the Tri-Cities Hispanic Chamber as an outcome of the course. So as a faculty member, I mean, that's so exciting, right? Like I said before, the Tri-Cities Hispanic Chamber was such an amazing partner for us. And I know from talking with the students that secured those internships that they're really excited to be working there and having additional opportunities to invest in local business owners and make a tangible contribution to our community. Awesome. Thank you for taking the time to tell us more about the innovative work our Tri-Cities Cougs are participating in. 
I, it's always a pleasure to speak with you. And of course, go Cougs. This has been Washington State University Tri-Cities, a world-class education close to home.